All right. I'm going to go ahead and get my screen shared together. But if this is your first time joining us this evening, I want to personally welcome you to the call. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tasha M. Dyer, the Trey Whisper, creator of the BYOB Cash Out Strategy. And if you are just joining us, this is your first time with us on BYOB Market Talks. Let me get a one, one, one in the chat. And if you're still learning how to cash out, let me get a two, two, two. And for those of you all, who have just joined us since we did the announcement, since we welcomed everyone, go ahead and drop it in the chat. Keep dropping it in the chat where you're calling in from. There you go, Atlanta. You definitely want to make sure you keep dropping that in the chat. All right, so I see you all. So let me say welcome and welcome back. Welcome and welcome back. Welcome and welcome back. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here this evening. So let's start over here. And we're gonna talk about a few things. I promised we would talk about the tools a little bit, right? That's what I talked about. That's what I promised you all. So for those of you all who are new with us, I see quite a new of you all, quite a new, quite a few of you all that are new to the call. There it is, got a little tongue tied. So um, I see quite a few of you all. So let me explain to you how these calls work. I wanna to explain to you exactly how these calls work. So our evening calls, okay? Our evening calls, which is the call that you're on right now. The call that you are actually on right now and that is BYOB Market Talks. That's the call. This is where we're going to slow down. We show you how to navigate the charts. This is where we show you how to navigate the charts, how you can put yourself in a position of profit. What makes you a master trader? This is where we do that. We show you the system. Success comes from following a system. So we're talking about putting you in a position of wealth, putting you in a position of the magnitude of wealth. And I just wanna make sure that you all understand the position and the magnitude of where you sit tonight. And then of course, I want you all to know that in the mornings, the mornings, Monday through Thursday at 5 a.m. and 9 a.m., we're navigating the market. So everything that we learn here in the evenings, we apply it in the mornings. And that is why you are able to take trades on your own. So you are not doing signals. We don't come here to say, take profit, this your stop loss, this is that. We come in here to show you how you are that master trader. That's, that's what you're looking to be. And that's what we're showing you, exactly how to be that. And that's why, for those of you all in our Telegram chat, that's why it's so many of you all seeing 777, 777, 777 in the chat. That's where that comes from. All right. So uh, then can I move this now? No, probably. All right. So is doing a little something for me so let's um so as we understand and as we navigate this what we're going to do tonight is we're going to talk about the BYOB cash out strategy and we're going to talk about some of the tools and now where am I was here and I just switched from over here so now let's talk about that for just a moment I, I promise you because some of the tools that we utilize in the mornings before we kick off the new year and start adding so many new things, remember we talked about the gift of being you you want to be you want to be grateful. You want to you want to you know put yourself in the right position. You want to elevate yourself. You know, you want to commit to yourself. You want to give the gift that keeps on giving and that's the gift of financial education and that's what we are here tonight to educate you. So let's talk about this. Now, you can trade the BYOB cash out strategy on any time frame. Okay, I want to be clear. You can trade this on any time frame, but with you trading it on the 15 minute is where we start. Go back to Tuesday night's call. For those of you who are new, our YouTube channel, BYOB Challenge, go back to Tuesday night's call. And we spent a lot of detail helping you understand that. Okay, Tuesday night is basics, tonight is tools. So we spend a lot of time going through that and walking through that. Now, if I'm on a higher time frame, you can see that I can also trade it. It doesn't matter. Higher time frames help me understand where the market's going. My lower time frames actually 
my lower time frames is tighter entries it's the movement it's all the activity that transpires it's where you can get your 10 pips and cash out it's where all of that takes place so let's talk about the byb cash out strategy let's talk about that now once again, you're gonna have to bear with me a little bit, see if I can pull this down at all, which I cannot. Um, I already know he was working on it. So let's just do the buy. I wanna do both of them, but I also don't wanna be up in this space right here. So as we're looking at it, you can see this trade even from earlier, same trade we were talking about and then it came back and it pulled into a sale. So, you can see right here now if you have questions okay excuse me if you have questions drop them in the chat while we're going over this always drop your questions in the chat so now blue line cross over the red and an upward momentum that's what i'm looking for a buy blue line cross over the red blue line cross over the red and an upward momentum so this was actually it's a slight correction, but then it pulled back up and started buying. Now here, blue line cross over the red and downward momentum. Now I'm talking to everybody. So it doesn't matter your skill set. This your first day. It could be a hundredth day. It doesn't matter. So if you are a one one one, first time here on the call. Now you're looking for that blue line cross over the red and upward momentum around that 20. I'm looking for that green candle. So can I make it any bigger? I'm looking for that green candle with a flat bottom, PSR flip to the bottom. That's what I'm looking for, okay? So you notice how all that lines up. As you begin to develop your skill set, as you begin to understand the movement, building that relationship that you have with the market, as you begin to develop those things, what actually transpires is you see that you would begin to recognize that this is a pullback, okay? you began to recognize where the market's going and you began to understand it. But as you can see, even if you missed that one, and we talked about the compounding effect on Tuesday, even if you missed that one, you still would have an opportunity, okay? You still have an opportunity to where 10 pips cash out, 10 pips cash out, 10 pips cash out. So you start by 10 pips and cash out. Then you develop to learning your support and resistance lines that's where you go after that and so you want to still you never want to put yourself in a position where i'm 10 pips and cash out and that's it okay you always want to be able to develop your skill set in order to develop the knowledge but yet even if it's my day one as long as i understand and i walk through my demo account and i understand how to push the button i understand how to do that then I put myself in a position to win. That's what happens. I put myself in a position where I'm understanding. So I can cash out with my 10 pips from day one. I can do that. But at the same time, I can also put myself in a position to understand how to read this, how it's going to continue to flow, how the market is going to keep moving. As we begin, you know, you see that I have my, um, my currency is that's being triggered. I began to understand and I began to see that. And, and we're gonna look at this GBP USD card on this four hour two. That wasn't even in training, but um, it's definitely something that, you know, what I had thought about for tonight, but we're gonna look at it anyway. Now, cause um, you see, and that's gonna go back to what I've been telling you all, how the market, <coughs> you've been scalping for 10, scalping 10 and 10 out 10, Okay, so you've been scalping 10 pips, 10 pips, 10 pips, 10 pips. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. And so this, I, when I saw these two just come in, I saw these. So I saw these and it's like, you. I, I just looked over and I saw these both hit at the same time. And what we've been talking about is the market getting into more of a trending market. So we've been talking about that and you can see that you have a lot of currencies that actually came through and they're pulling on that hour time frame and that four hour time frame. So you see that the trends are starting to develop. That's a key indication of that, that these trends are starting to develop. But let's stay right here. Um, let's stay right here. So the rules don't change. This, that goes back to, so the question is my stop loss will go all the way up at the bottom or the midpoint where it's pulling up. So the rules don't change. Think about what the strategy is. 
Remember how I just stated in the very beginning, you wanna follow the system. You wanna stick to what you know. You wanna to stick to the basics of the basics. Don't, don't try to overthink it. Don't worry. So when we go through this, where is the stop loss? The stop loss is below the PSR. The stop loss is above the PSR. That doesn't change. So that's where your stop loss is. It's in that same spot. So my stop loss does not change. It does not shift. So that's so you it's, it's blue line cross over the red and an upward. If it's going up, I'm buying. If it's going, my candles are green, I'm buying. The piece right at the bottom, I'm buying. So bottom, bottom, bottom over here is top, top, top. Okay. So that if you think about it like that, so I don't don't try to overthink it or don't try to add to it or don't try to recreate it or don't try to, you know, it's it's real simple. Blue line cross over the red, green candle with a flat bottom, piece are flip to the bottom. Now, if I don't know anything about support and resistance lines, then I'm waiting on these triggers. I'm waiting on to see where that flip will happen. Because even if that flip happened over here, you notice that this is where the trend started. It started back here. My trend started back here. So I'm bringing, hopefully we're bringing um, clarity to you. But this is where my trend started. My trend started back here. Now you notice that I'm gonna I'm come up to the higher time frame. You see, these are trend candles. This is where that trend went. It went up. So what happens is you enter the the 15 minute chart is technically those tighter entries. You notice that as I'm looking on this, and this is really feeding into what we're talking about tonight. So you know, I, I can answer that question for you now. I'm not deviating. This is really what we're talking about. Make that a little thick for you. So you see that this is riding that upward trend. These are trend candles. And so this was riding that upward trend. When I drop down to my 15 minute, why, why I say that, now you see this trend, okay? You see this trend line. You see that this trigger and it's on this trend line. You see that. So. These are upward, these are buys, these are trend candles, that's what they are. And you see that I have a trend. However, I see more corrections when I drop down to a lower time frame. I see the activity. Remember the higher time frames tell us what the market's doing. The higher time frames tell me where the market's going. But it's my lower time frames, it's my lower time frames that are actually going to give me all the movement, all the activity that's happened. That's what my lower time frames do, right? That's what they do. So when I drop down here, where most of you are grabbing my 10 pips in cash out or trading to that support and resistance line is here. So you notice that blue line cross over the red in an upward moment, green candle flat bottom, PSR flip to the bottom. That's this one. So let me go ahead and add this one on here. So let me. So what about the continuation trade when that's, so you must have just joined us. You must have just joined us. I'm gonna cover that again, but it is still okay. And and so, cause I actually did mention that just a minute. So I did just mention that just a minute ago, but that is a good question. So, okay. So blue line cross over the red and an upward momentum. You have your green candle with a flat bottom piece or flip to the bottom. Now, when I get here, blue line cross over red and an upward momentum, and you have that green candle with a flat bottom piece or flip to the bottom. I have another one right here. This one didn't correct as hard. It didn't correct as hard. So, but I still have that blue line cross over red. It's just not down here. So this is where half and half of you all would get a 777 because my 111s, you wouldn't touch it. You wouldn't touch it. I'm gonna change the color of this one. My one one ones, you wouldn't touch it. You wouldn't touch it at all, right? But my two two twos are my individuals getting a little bit more skill set. You would actually be trading this off a different time frame, or you would be looking at something else, or you would just understand that you're still in that uptrend because you have a little bit more knowledge of market structure. This actually more than likely also triggered on a vibrato. I was trying to scan through there and see if I could see them looking at the times and everything, but. You know, tonight is a dance night, so I didn't have time to do all of that. But but just understand that these did these do trigger, and that you we've been seeing the GBP USD, and we've been seeing that trigger all through there. So you want to just kind of um, make sure that. So now I come back over here. 
I have this blue line, you know, we have that moving up and then it stopped up here. And so I actually don't need this one, I'm gonna delete it. So you can kind of see where it stopped for those. Now, when you're talking about support and resistance lines, okay? And I'm gonna show you this, I have something else to marked up for you already. But when I'm talking support and resistance lines, let me help you. You see, that's where this one is. I'm gonna squinch this up. Actually, I'm gonna come to the hour when I come up to my higher time frame, because if my higher time frames is where you see the activity and where the market's moving, then it's my lower time frames where all the activity happened. My stronger support and resistance lines are on a higher time frame. Once again, go back to Tuesday night's training. We went to a little bit more. We we talked about a lot on Tuesday, sound like, right? So you can kind of see that that is um something else that we talked about, you know, as far as understanding the higher, higher time frames. Like if I'm on a weekly then that, that support and resistance line is very significant. If I'm on the um, daily, those are gonna be more significant than the five minutes. So one hour, four hour um, support and resistance lines are gonna have more impact on the market than the ones on a five minute. So just, just for understanding. Now, what I need to do is I'm gonna pull up my line chart. For those of you all still learning support and resistance lines, there is a playlist on our YouTube channel but I want you to see right here. When I pull up my line chart, it helps you see it clear. Why is that? Because this is nothing more than my close. This is that closing price. And so you can actually see everything that's happening in the market. You can see, you know, you can see those lines, they're more definitive. Like you can see all these touches that are happening in the market. I can see all these touches. I can see all these touches that are happening. And as you see where we are right now, I can actually put another one. And why wouldn't I? Because it's come that call price. Now that call price is 134520. Now, if I pull this wheel up, 520, which is very close. So, I mean, look at where it adjusted to. Hardly nowhere, right? So you can see that those line, the line chart is going to give you the closing price. And it really helps you with support and resistance lines. It helps you identify the market. You can kind of see where those support and resistance lines come in. So you can change that to the line chart. And I'll actually change this back. And now you see it clear. So now you can see where those points are clear. And so just like somebody just asked, if I know where it's pulling up, what if it's in the middle? Well, I would already need to know that I was in this uptrend. I would already need to know that I, you know, I was in a strong uptrend because I really didn't have correction from what it looks like on this lower time frame. So I mean, on a one hour, the four hour is just a nice uptrend. My one hour, you can see where it's a nice uptrend. I see correction on the hour right here, but you would need to know that this is where you are. You would need to know that this is where you sit. And so then when I come down to my 15 minute chart, I see the corrections. Where do they happen? They always happen around a support and resistance line. The, these are your lifelines in the market. They always happen around a support and resistance line. Those corrections always happen. They always happen, look at this one, around a support and resistance line. What does the vibrata do? These alerts, these, these triggers, I call them entry triggers. These triggers, they trigger around a support and resistance line. So now that that one's calling on the four hour, all right, that means that I'm gonna come look at the four hour. That means that this is called in a correction. So if my four hour, my confluence is the daily. So you can see why this triggers on a four hour. Now we just talked about this. I'm gonna just pull this up, you know, we just talked about this. We talked about how significant this area is where we are in the market, the impact Brexit is having on the market where we are. And you can definitely see how even on a weekly chart, look at how this rejected here, how it rejected, how it rejected, how it rejected. I'm all the way back in 2019 where it has not been able to pass this line. So the support and resistance lines on the higher time frames have more impact on the market than the ones on the lower time frames. So you already know where you are. So why do I why does an alert on a four hour make more sense? Why does that make more sense? It makes more sense because it's going to be caught in a correction. 
So this will finish correcting before it would even go up. And my daily is my confluence. And so you, why does it make more sense that we would want something? If we're going to buy anything right now, we would want an alert. We would want a trigger. We would want that on the higher time frame. We would want that on there. And so this, this brings clarity to you understanding how this market moves. And so now you see why this is triggered on a higher time frame. And so even if something is triggered on a lower time frame, you want to understand where you are. So now you see the consolidation. Now this makes sense because you understand how significant that support and resistance line is that we're sitting at. It just should make more sense. And so even if I drop down, you know, when we're scalping, because uh, we have some scalpers anonymous, I actually thought it was funny because I got a text message today. I, I always talk about you all. And when we're on here trading and I'm like, okay, we need a scalpers anonymous. And, you know, cause some of you all just love scalping. I used to love scalping like that blue on, and blue and clothes. I have five pips and I'm out of there, you know and that's okay and that's fine. And we talked about on Friday, I'm sorry, on Tuesday how you know you can still profit and build your account from that if you're compounding you know we talked about those things and so you said yes you're in the club you definitely are and so when you think about that now you understand so whether you're a swing trader whether you're an intraday you said welcome whether you're a swing trader whether you're an intraday trader or whether you're a scalper so now when i say if we're trading on a five minute and you see me go look at the higher time frame you see me go look at what's happening in the market this is why so you know where you are you know if i'm going to get five pips if i'm just going to ride around this support and resistance line i know where i am in the market i know where i am in the market so we know where we are we know the significance of you know um you know where we are now that's funny i'm a, a seasonal club member you know what so you guys are for hilarious. So you can see where, you know, you can see, oh, I can't pull it. Let me do it this way. Maybe you can see where you're able to get five to 10 pips in cash out. So if I'm trading on a five minute chart, then you know it's five pips in cash out. And then on the, on the higher time frames, it's 10 pips in cash out. So, and so you look, snatch and grab. So you see, they look at look at them. They they are so excited. My scalpers, my scalpers, my scalpers. But I love it because no matter what your trading style is, no matter who you are, no matter what your personality is, you all are in a we. You know, you're all in a position to put take profit from the market. So oh well, you you yo you all know I'm a pause for. I'm going to pause for a testimony. I am going to pause for a testimony. I want to just give salute you and say congratulations. This is your first week of 777s and it is the first week of a lifetime. So congratulations. Welcome to BYOB and you know we just wish you blessings and many many more. So I'm gonna always pause for a testimony because I love it. I love it. I love it. So now hopefully this brings some clarity. Okay. Yeah, you know. So Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that brings some clarity to you guys understanding, taking these trades, taking these alerts, you know, these um, triggers, these entry triggers, the alerts that actually come from the vibrata. So hopefully that just brought a little clarity to you all. All right. And now what I wanted to show you as well is we talked about, and so this, I don't know, we might be able to do it just tonight. But, you know, we talked about the vibrata and I want to show you one that this actually pulled off the hour and the 15. It pulled off the hour and the 15. And so it's AUD NZD. Okay. It's AUD NZD. And so I'm going to pull this off the hour. I'm going to pull it here off the hour. And it's two things, two or three things I want to tell you. Now, an hour and the 15, it pretty much had the exact same you know, almost the exact same take profits. And so this would have been take profit one. This would have been take profit one. And this would have been take profit two. And 
and this would have been take profit three. Okay. Now, for those of you all who are not familiar with the harmonic scanner, just really quickly, and of course we have a playlist for this as well, but really quickly, um, the, it, you can look at, this is harmonic patterns. If you're in the academy, when you get to the academy in the three and 400 series, somewhere in there, they begin to talk about, you know, they begin to talk about harmonic patterns. So what the harmonic scanner does is it scans the market for you and it identifies those harmonic patterns that are in the market. Now, when you look, you can get them on any time frame. I can, I can check my four hour, I can check my daily, you know, whatever time frame, whatever your trading style, but you still need to bring it back to the vibrata, okay? So you still need to bring it back. This is, I'm, I'm doing one that's already passed because I want you to know how to do it. So it's not, it's not a live trade. I've, I've already marked it up and this one is already passed. So this was take profit one, two, and three. So, so that's what that was, okay? That's, that, that's what that was. And you can see that this one is already taking profit. And it actually already took profit here on a 15 minute chart as well, obviously, because it's actually the same. So, oh, you, so you wrote it. So look, another testimony. So you wrote this to take profit three and harmonics help. That's fantastic. I love it. And I just wanted you all to be able to apply what we just talked about. I want you all to be able to apply. Now, for those of you all, my scalper is anonymous. I got it. You, you guys are going to be over here. And you're gonna be down here on this five minute. And you know, you're gonna be over here, you're gonna just take these trades and you're gonna move out. But we're starting to get back into those more trendy markets. We've already discussed that. And so when I actually come back over here and I mark it up, so I really want you to understand, you know, um, I really want you to understand the purpose of behind why you bring it back and why you need to mark it up. So now. As you can see, when, when it was an alert, when it was a harmonic pattern identified, it would have been looking something like this. You would not have seen where the trade played out. So you would not have seen any of that. So you need to bring this back over here because there's a few things I wanna help you understand and identify. My take profits are nothing more than support and resistance lines. So understand, yes, this was called on the hour. It was called on the 15th, okay? understand that when someone says this is not three trades okay take it's not a i take a trade to here i take a trade to here i take a trade to here okay that's not three trades that is not um that's not um is is not as guaranteed to go to take profit three it's not guaranteed it's literally this is a support and resistance line this is a support and resistance line this is a support and resistance line that's it your relationship with the market, your relationship of understanding the market is what's going to help you, you know, with that. Now, um, I'm gonna answer that question, what's the purpose? So let me go ahead and, and answer that question really quickly and I'm gonna come back to it because I want you to understand. So let me, I'm going to pull this back up. Let me show you what's the purpose. So. I want you to put yourself in a mindset of who's had access to this information. You know, I'm going back to that trade, trust me, but I want you to put yourself in a mindset of who's had access to this information. So somewhere around the late nineties, you know, retail traders, somewhere around the late nineties, we got access to this information and able to participate in the largest financial market in the world. But who really moves the market? Who really gets to move the market? It's the big banks of the world. When we're sitting there listening and we're going over the news in the mornings and before you train your red folders, we're not looking for red folders because they're pretty. We're looking for red folders because they are significant. That's the monetary policy, economic events, political markets, that's actually what moves the market. And so all of those things are very important, but we don't have enough input in the market to actually come back and say you know what um you know we we can shift the market those big banks and the individuals that i'm talking about they actually move the market and they actually have tools they they have significant tools that allow them to do that they're not sitting there just trying to figure it out on their own 
So that's the biggest thing. So yes, they might have that relationship with the market. They might be able to navigate the markets, but trust me, they're not sitting there saying, well, I think that's a buy. I'm going to just draw a trend line and I'm just going to roll with it. They're using more analysis. They're using more than just their eyesight. They're using more than that in order to, and to take a trade. They're using more than that. And this is where we have to make a mental shift because sometimes, and this is not just for you, but I'm glad you asked it because I'm gonna just use the terms that I've heard is that when someone asks a question, there's somebody else that's thinking the same thing. And so that's why I wanted to address that. And so sometimes we think that we might understand or I can do this without the education or I can do this without those tools. I can go figure this out. But you always want to look and say, okay, do I want that lifestyle? Do I want that wealth? Do I want to be able to have that? And it's so significant that you want to put yourself in a position because success leaves clues. And so what actually happened is we're looking at the vibrato right here. And with the vibrato, um, our visionary, Mr. Rogers, that's the gentleman that you see right there of the Be Your Own Bank movement. So right there, you know, this, this tool was taken by a big bank and vetted. So, you know, this tool was taken by a big bank and vetted. And so when it was vetted, so when we look at this and it says it's revolutionary software that enables you to trade like the banks. So what this tool does is it scans the market. It scans the market and looks for high probability trades. It's it scans the market and it does the heavy lifting for you. So it, it's, it's like it just takes some of that off of you. So you don't have to search through every currency pair and try to do this by yourself. And if success leaves clues, if the big banks of the world don't do that, then we don't want to put ourselves in a position to where we're shortchanging ourselves. So that's the purpose. And I'm going to actually play this video so you can get the big, big picture. <laughs> I'm just absolutely amazed to know that I'm a part of a organization looking to empower and impact lives across the globe. I've been in this space for over 20 years, commercial banking lending, and when I look at the web analyzer in comparison to what the big banks of the world utilize, that web analyzer is equivalent, far exceeds the expectation that I was anticipating after having that experience on the investment market. So folks, for those of you who don't understand the magnitude or what you have your hands on, I encourage you, I challenge you to take a deeper dive and realize that literally you have in your own hands the power to become your own bank and allow us to be your partner, to empower you economically, financially, and leave a true legacy. So hopefully that answers the question of what's the purpose of the vibrato? Because even when we come in here and, and you look at that, you just heard what he said and based on life experience, right? Success leaves clues. And you look at all the information that's coming from here and all the different trade alerts and, you know, basically it's scanning the market and it's breaking it down, you know, helping you identify what these are. Now, what I'm doing on top of that is just really helping you understand it. So my job and my responsibility is to help you understand it, to help you be able to utilize the tool to the best of your ability, to help put you in that position of profit. So even when I come over here and I bring this back, you know, like we're talking about take profit one, take profit two, take profit three, you know, this is just really putting you in that position and helping you understand that these are nothing more than support and resistance lines. You know, maybe it should be called target, not take profit, you know, but I didn't name it. It's just to help you understand what it is that you're, you're working with. And so now when we sit here and we have this, and we're looking now, hopefully your eyesight helped you see this trend line. All right, hopefully your eyesight helped you see this trend line. And so, yes, remember, this is what it looked like. We didn't have that, okay? This is what it looked like when it was triggered, when we were on a vibrata and we pulled it over. And so now you put that trend line on here, you understand where you are in the market, and then you understand you're waiting for that turn to happen. You're waiting for that shift to happen. You're waiting for, and this to turn around and go into a buy. Now, one thing I definitely want you to understand, and this is another reason why even from the vibrata to the BYOB cash out puts you in a better position is because if I was just straight price action trading, if I was doing nothing, 
nothing more than price action trading, then I would be waiting because this is a turnaround point in the market. All right, this is a turnaround point in the market right here. Okay. So this is a turnaround point. I'll get that question in just a minute. You guys keep your mics muted, please. Thank you. So, all right, so. I'm a, I'm again I'm gonna tell you my trick in a minute. Well, it's not really a trick, but I'll tell you what I do personally. And so it's up to you to determine if that's what you want to do. So you see that this is that turnaround point in the market. The market never just does, you know, it's it's never going to just, you know, you think about how you make a U-turn. It's not it should be it should be nice and smooth. If you if you're not making nice and smooth turn U-turns don't do it anymore. Um but you take a U-turn and it's just a nice little curve and it comes around, right? You, you shouldn't be driving if you're tearing up the road. But that's what a U-turn should look like. However, that's not what the market does, right? That's just definitely not what the market does. What the market does is going to come down here. It's going to play around for a little bit. Um, yeah, that's what you see. That's correct. But um, so you see why it forms it though, right? I'm, I'm, I'm into the explaining of the why, but you see the pattern and now I'm explaining the why, so that's correct. So, but what you see is it breaks the trend line, it retests the trend line, and sometimes it'll hang out down here and then it'll go up. So most of the time you want it to get out of this area and then you see you can actually take that for a buy. But you see what the BYOB cash out allows you to do is blue line cross over the red and an upward momentum. I have a green candle with a flat bottom and a PSR flip to the bottom, even on my higher time frame. So now instead of just blindly trying to take a trade from, you know, blindly trying to take a trade from over there, what we're doing is we're using the BYOB cash out, which uses the three areas of value in trading, which is my uh, moving averages, which is in my stochastic, you know, I have my trend, which is in here, and I have my PSR. So it's all right there. It's all there. And so, you know, so whether you put it on the chart, you don't put it on the chart, I draw my trend line, I don't draw my trend line, whatever, it's still a, still a candle. That's what it is. And so um, these are trend candles. That's why we use them. And so that PSR is a, is, is a stop loss. It's a trailing stop loss. It is a parabolic stop and reversal. And it shows the reversals that happen in the market. That's what this is. And so blue line cross over the red and an upward momentum. I got a green candle with a, where it's at. You know, I can't really move this, but you got that PSR down here. No, we don't, not that one. We actually don't get that with a flat bottom candle to right there. So you have, that's what you have right there. Now, as I see that, now, as you see that, now I want to do my time frame confluence. I come up here and I do my time frame confluence. When I do my time frame confluence, you can see on the four hour, I definitely have confluence. I drop down to my 15 minute chart looking for my confluence. And it needs to still be buying. Now, for my scalpers, for my scalpers, for my scalpers, do you see where this was a blue line cross over the red right here? Can we make this bigger? Can I do it? Will it work with us? So you see that blue line cross over the red in a, around that 20 right here. I have that green candle with a flat bottom piece I flip. So using the 15 minute time frame, I can one, scalp, get my 10 pips and cash out, or just go to the very first take profit. That's it. You would have taken profit right there. And that would have given you you know, look, that's about 25 pips just right there. Or, you know, even if I would have looked at it from this perspective of when this flipped up, you can definitely see this is where you are understand more of the market, where you understand more of the market, right? You understand more of what the market's doing. So it needs to still be buying. And so you understand that this is still buying if I'm trading on that hour. And so you would have taken that trade. You probably wouldn't have taken this one from here because of where it is. But if I'm on the hour, it's definitely still buying. And you notice that's when it came out of a correction. It got around a correction around that take profit one. It corrected and then it pulled up. We got another correction and it's pulling up. So those are definitely, 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 you know, showing you how because you're not looking to take a long trade until you identify that it's you actually have a trend reversal. 
I don't know that I have a trend reversal until it stops. You, you see where it stopped the trend and it turned around and you can definitely see where that's coming up. Now, for those of you all on this 15 minute chart, one thing I definitely wanna highlight, I can, it's so many ways you can trade this. It's so many ways, so many things based on personality, so many ways. If I'm here on this higher time frame, you notice that this is where we got that PSR flip. But I also had confluence that started right here. I had confluence that started right here. So I can do my confluence backwards as well. I can come back here to the 15 minute time frame, and then you see that's where that identified that trade to you. So I could identify my confluence first. So you can take that trade from the harmonic scanner and you have, I could have just got a few pips and cashed out and called it a day, or I could have scalped this all the way up, or I could have let it run. One thing I want to highlight to you all, even using a compounding sheet. Now, one thing you can do, you, you can, I can change my take profit, I can change my stop loss. Let me ask her this question and then I'll tell you what I want to tell you. I asked about the stop loss, would I have got stopped out? Well, you would have started here, depends on where you put your stop loss. When I take my longer trades, you have to be comfortable with the amount of pips in a stop loss. You have to be comfortable with that. But when I take my longer trades, I'll go up a time frame. I'll go up a time frame and I'll use the stop loss, the, the PSR on the higher time frame. Now you notice on a higher time frame, it doesn't flip around. You notice on a higher time frame, you don't get wicked out. You notice that? So I'm using a higher time frame for mine. So even if I'm trading a 15 minute, you see you would have had the same thing, but I'm gonna jump up and I'm gonna use that stop loss. I'm gonna use the PSR on a higher time frame. So it's just, it's just food for thought. So if I know I'm going for a long trade, then I'm on a higher time frame. I'm more comfortable with a greater stop loss. You just have to be comfortable with that. So, but I also trust my analysis. So, you know, I, I trust my analysis, right? So you you want to be able to um you want to be able to understand that. So I wouldn't have got stopped out because I'm using this, the the PSR on a higher time frame. So even still, if you would have started here, based on if you did a trailing stop loss or if you are manually moving it, you know, I'm not, I know another thing is I know for a fact that right up in here, you know, right in here, right in here, every time we get to a support and resistance line, I know there's a correction. I know there's a correction. So if I'm taking my trade longer, if I'm riding this trade up, or if I'm riding this one down, I know it's a correction at a support and resistance line. So I don't put my stop loss on that support resistance line. I'm going to always cushion it. So of course you wouldn't have seen this, but you know, once again, this is personal preference. This is as you learn, as you moving along. So my stop loss, if I'm moving this up manually, it would have been somewhere in the middle down here. I wouldn't have put it right up under here because I've seen too many times where there's a pull back and then it'll turn around and it'll go back up. However, if it pulls back, I'm comfortable because I got my 10 pips and cashed out. That's what I did. So you have to be comfortable and you have to get in that demo account and you have to practice how you do it. Then the other thing I wanted to tell you is you can treat this like you're trading on a lower time frame. Up until my take profit one, I so there's a few things I can adjust in a trade. I can adjust my take profit. I can adjust my stop loss. I can do that manually and still be in the same trade. Another thing you can do is you can adjust your lot size. I cannot adjust my lot size higher, but I can adjust it smaller. So what does that mean? Why is that significant? That's significant because that's what you call a partial close. So if I can look at this, like I'm gonna trade to take profit one, I can have a greater lot size to take profit one. I can increase it because we know based on our analysis, we're going to take profit one. We know that already, right? And we'll come back again and we'll talk about that a little bit more in detail, but we know for a fact we're going to get to take profit one. We know that. Um, however, what is the market going to do as we transition and we move up? You can bring your lot size down and open your MetaTrader 4, take your lot size down, and now you have what's called a partial close. So you can start your trade with the smaller um, of the compounding sheet with the larger lot size on the smaller pip size, 
And then as I transition, I can lower my lot size for the take profit two and the take profit three. So let's just say I have, I'm gonna just say a 0 0.50, a 0 0.1.0, a 0.25, a 0 0.10, whatever it is, you can trade that up to here. Okay, then when I get here, I can open my MetaTrader 4. I can lower my lot size. I cannot raise it. I can't say, oh, it's going where I want it to. I'm going to increase my lot size. You can't start with a 0.01, then start going in profit, then you increase it, right? That, that would just be wonderful, right? That would just be fantastic, but that's not the case. I can lower my lot size. So I can stay in the trade up until take profit three, but I've already taken some profits. I've taken some profits. And so that's what you call a partial close. So you can do a partial close on your trade. And so it'll, it'll just keep going. So that's, that's what you can do as well. So you can get your scalp on, or you can look at, you know, you can join my scalpers and not my scalpers anonymous, it's BYLV scalpers anonymous, or, you know, just like, what did we do? What was the comment said? I'm here because of the election, you know, I'm, I'm here because of the election. So um, and, and so from there. So questions, comments, testimonies. Questions, comments, testimonies, put it in the chat. We have a few minutes left. I wanna make sure we get those questions, comments, testimonies answered. But I really want you all, <laughs> oh, so we have Scalpers Anonymous and Seasonal Scalpers. Okay, so, all right. Now, let me see, let me go to this question. That was a partial close. It was a partial close. So you do go to you do go to close it. You do do you do go like you're going to close it, and then you change the lot size. So does the strategy? It works on every single thing. BYOB cash out strategy. You get to cash out on everything. You get to cash out on gold. You get to cash out on metals on indices. You get to cash out. What does your heart desire? So, so. <laughs> I'm not going to have this conversation with you tonight, Miss Morgan. So, <laughs> all right. So if I am understanding the chart that today COVID chart was displayed on TV and I was looking for where I was going to put my support and resistance. So help me with that question. A COVID chart was displayed on TV. Now, let me help you understand um, support and resistance. Let me help you understand support and resistance. Let's talk about support and resistance laws. Let's go back up here. This is what we looked at, okay? Let me take this to the monthly chart. So right up in here, support and resistance is support and resistance is support and resistance. Support and resistance lines have absolutely nothing to do with what's going on in, in the world. They're going to be the same. So they have absolutely nothing to do. So they're always gonna be here. So right here, I'm on a monthly chart. You see this support and resistance line? We talked about this on Tuesday when it finally broke this line and it came from up. You notice how to market this from the entire time, you know, this is the entire time that this market has been here, that this currency pair has been trading, it's been trading in this zone. It stayed within this area. However, do when that when when Brexit decided they wanted to break up, when they decided on Brexit, they did they made a decision that we are going to break up. The, it actually broke and it, it came below that area. And so since we've been trading, we've been trading below this line. Now it's at the back of this line because, and why are we, why are we here again? We're still talking about Brexit. So it went from, they made a decision to break up. Now they want to know if they can co-parent. Okay. So this is where they are. And so what, well, how is that significant about support and resistance? You notice that if I drop support and resistance lines on here on the monthly, right? I'm putting support and resistance lines on here. These are going to be the most significant ones in the market. You notice that that's where we are right now. Those of you all you see is trying to, it's beating on that line, it's beating on that line, it's beating on that line. These are the most significant right here. So when I come down to my daily, I mean, I can go to the weekly too, but let's just jump down to the daily for the sake of time. You can see where we are rejecting you can see where we are rejecting that was in august where it tried it again you can see where back in last december it rejected so you can see how significant support and resistance line so 
Oh, you meant every chart you see is like, okay, 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 okay. But hey, let's let's just bring clarity to it since we are in here. So you can see. So now as I drop down time frames, you start seeing support and resistance lines that you didn't see on the higher time frame because every chart has support and resistance lines. Every time frame has support and resistance lines, every single one of them. So you definitely can see where they are. You can see where the support and resistance lies. So when I come down to the four hour from the daily, I'll see more support and resistance lies than I saw on the daily. So now you're seeing these that we didn't have on the other time frame. So every time frame, I'm looking at support and resistance lies. All right. So and and of course I see that nice trend and that nice channel, that trend and that channel that's right there. So every single one you're going to see it, and it just gets clear and clear and clear. So every time we drop down, I see more. And then when we get down to that five minute. Oh my goodness, look at how many more I can add. I can add one right here. All right, I can, I can just support and resistance line this up. But these are not going to be as significant as the one on the monthly, as the one on the weekly, as the one on the daily. So that's why you never see me initially drawing anything on the five minute unless we're trade, unless we were scalping those indices and we're in and out of the market or something of that nature. And we're just trying to get in and out of the market. So, all right. So hopefully that brought some clarity to that. And so you're so welcome. It says, you know, thanks for explaining the vibrata. You're very, very welcome. This is great. Your first time on a call, you have a lot more understanding. I'm so excited for you, you know, how do you, I, well, you're on the call. I'm the creator of the Be Wild, Be Cash Out strategy. So it's a strategy I created. So I'll just tell you to stay plugged in because all those individuals dropping 777s, seven, seven, they actually are plugged in. And uh, when you plug in, you have individuals on here that, um, you know, testimony after testimony after testimony. And I can tell you just from seeing it, and I can tell you just from, you know, watching them plug in and being on the calls that the clarity, the 777s, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. You individuals are getting more clarity in the market because our whole purpose and goal is to help you develop that relationship with the market so you can understand how it moves, how it works, and you can take profit and also to be able to use these tools to the best of your ability to put you in that position of profit. So I'm just officially welcome you to BYOB and plug in plug in. I mean, I can tell you the ones that are dropping the most 777s in the chat, they did not, you know, and look, you're saying what I'm saying. This is how we all get our mentorship being on 40 calls. So the ones that are sitting here with all these 777s, they didn't do anything outside. They didn't go create groups. They didn't go do trading clubs. They didn't go do all of that. They just plugged in, you know, we, they didn't get personal Zooms. They didn't do all of that. They just plugged in and they got into the system. They got in there and they pushed the button. They logged on and they pushed the button. They didn't watch the market pass them by. You push the button. So plug into the calls and push the button and you will succeed. And that's why, you know, that's why we do this the way that we do it. Oh, thank you so much. You know what? And yes, both of you all are actually testaments, you know, I'm sitting here looking, so I'm looking at who's commenting. So that's one, two, three, I see four, you know, look, five. It's a, quite a few of you all that I'm seeing that are on here consistently. And even so, regardless of when you plugged in, you know, regardless of when you start it, it works. So yes, always be plugged in. So that, that's what's gonna do it. I'm telling you systems work. Personal power does not work. Um, Worrying about somebody else's accounts, worrying about what somebody else has, you know, being concerned with somebody else dropped the 777, being concerned with how many take profit somebody, being concerned with other individuals, it does not work. It will not do anything. I cannot spend somebody else's money. So, but what I can do is understand a system and a system is what's going to generate wealth. So that's what BYOB is. It's a system for your empowerment. Be Your Own Bank is a system. One million families financially educated and impacted. And that's what we are. Oh, I thank you for that. You made something 
complicated, uncomplicated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I appreciate you all. So most definitely, most definitely. And change affirmation. Don't say we'll always try. We speak affirmative and positive. I want you to say, I will be plugged in. I am plugging in. I am a master trader. I am the signal. I am, I am all my trades in and profit. I am 777. 777 is take profit. 777 means cash out. That's what 777 means. So ladies and gentlemen, there it is. I will be plugged in. There it is, there it is, there it is. So I've enjoyed you all tonight. I've enjoyed you all this week. Yes, and we are the big bank. We are the big bank. So I've enjoyed you all. But right now, it's time to transition this call. Do not go anywhere because we're talking about financially educating. We're talking